Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what we're going to do today is an ATC card. You guys always ask for, you know, on top of the ATC card and that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to give you a few tips of uh, things that you can do. So I'm going to use the ATC card that I made in a prior video. Uh, I made a page of them and uh, I'll link it at the end of the video if you're interested and you want to see it. And what I did was I went on to Google and I typed in free clip art and I love creepy and scary and that kind of thing. So I thought, okay, what am I going to do today? So I went and looked at some pages that I had here and this was, I don't know, it was from some uh, pack I got on clearance at the store a while ago. And what I did was I cut off her little bonnet that she had. So I'm going to use her. I went on to the free clip art. And you'll see this if you type in free clip art, Halloween clip art. And I got this and I cut it out. I just printed it out regularly. Um, you can see I have RA and fibro, so my hands don't always work well. But I cut around it and we're going to work with it. I cut out a little witch's hat. How cute. And two little bats. Now, I, did I click? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? Um, now, you could do, I was going to do, I, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Um, you could do a million different things and we're going to do magazine ATC cards as well. Uh, for those of you who don't, you know, want to do this, you can draw. I also have stamps uh, of bats and that kind of thing. I always get the Halloween stamps and when they're on clearance and that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm going to do this today because I think everybody can do this. You can go to your local library, you know, and print out things there off of their computer. I don't know if it's five cents here or free. I, or you might get like five free. I don't know. But check it out. You never know. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, um, you can use a glue stick. I think I'm going to use Mod Podge today, though. Yeah. And this is just Mod Podge matte. Nothing, nothing too fancy full. And uh, let's see, I'll use my brush here and we're going in. So I think first I'm going to layer and see how I want it. So do I want this first and then her kind of on, and it's okay if it goes over, we'll just cut that off. I'm not worried about it. So you'll just kind of put this where you want it. La la la. Like that. Do I want her in front of it with her hat or do I? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I had the uh, strength at the moment with my hands, I'd probably cut this tree out or look for a different tree. Um, I wanted to do a yellow moon, but I thought we'll do like a harvest moon. We're just going to go with that. You know, I mean, this is just to show you stuff that you uh, can do. And I'm going in with my mat. Mod Podge. Now again, you can use decoupage. You can use um, a glue stick. I love using the glue stick when I'm doing this kind of thing. And I just use my inkjet printer. I don't do anything too fancy um, because I'm not fancy. Look at me. Look at me. I could live rolling in Mod Podge for the rest of my life because I love it so much. I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to set this down. With that on the bottom and then just lay these little tendrils down and I'm gonna go in and just push this a little bit to get air out so it doesn't bubble because it's thinner paper and if it bubbles it just gives it uh, more texture it's not the end of the world but I do like to give it a little push push it real good you know what I'm saying all right and then here I didn't get here so I'm gonna just put a little of the glue there because it dries clear Look at me go. Look at me go. What? 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 There we go. That is your inkjet printer there. Look how beautiful that looks with the blue background. Like I said, I'm not particularly digging this orange, but we can fix it and I'll show you. So now I'm going to, I guess let's put the bats down. Let's do a bat right here. We'll just take and push him around so we kind of, you know, because it's more for the aesthetic. It's not, um, he might be covered once we put her down. I don't know. But let's do like, oh, you know what we could do? Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Come on, let's go back up. Okay. All right. We're going to just make it work here. Let's put him here. 
fly in like with the moon. What do you think? All right, get those little edges in there. I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much at the moment because I don't want to be here for six hours and make you guys bored to death. So look at that already. That is a perfect background. Perfect ATC card right there, but there's more. <laughs> well, let's go in. So I'm gonna put her, she'll just be sitting in the front. I'm just layering. It's not, I'm not going for realism or anything like that. I'm just going for fun. So I don't want her all in here. Mm. Now, what else would be fun is if we put her here, let's say we cut off just the head. Let's say we don't dig all this. We can cut off the head and then we can make our own like black cape or something like that. That would be fun too. I'm just going to have to put some glue down and let's see what happens. I can always add more glue if I want to. It's going to be 80 some degrees in Jersey today and I'm not happy about that. But I want it to be... If we do it there, I could put the hat... Oh, come on, Kel. My Podge drying them hands. Put the little hat there. Okay. I think that's what we'll do. You just kind of got to go with it. You can't overthink things. You know what I mean? I'm an overthinker. Do I want broccoli or cauliflower for dinner? It takes me six hours to decide. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just going to go in and turn it over and cut. And cut into the ATC apparently, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. But you see her down there? How cute. Now this is, you know, you can keep this. I'm not, but you can. I don't know. You can use it as ephemera, the background. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to pick up my little witch's hat. I'm going to go like this and go like that. Come on, baby. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm just going to lay it. Yeah, boy, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my daughter. Okay. There we go. Now, if you want, you can go over everything, you know, with another layer of Mod Podge. I'm not going to, um, because like I said, I'm just kind of just showing you and kind of playing. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to put my lid back on my Mod Podge because I keep refilling and refilling, but if I knock it over, I will be sad. I will be sad. And I'm going to just give it a quick dry. I don't need it all the way dry, but just, you know, I lay my hands on here and I get the stickiness. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. So we can get maybe black glitter. Do I have black glitter? Not sitting here. Um, maybe we're not going to add glitter, but you could. <laughs> I can find it, but I can't. It's way up on the top shelf and I just at the moment cannot stretch to get it. But I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you definitely can put... You know, glitter, I want to put glitter on the hat and the owl and the tree and just really glitter it up. But honestly, for you guys to see uh, here, I forgot that I moved my glitter. I'm going to just clip this off. Boop. Boop. Okay. And look how cute. Now we see, oh, what are we going to do with that? Well, you could take a, um, what's it called? watercolor pencil or uh, paint or whatever you want if that bothers you and it may and just go around this is just a china marker but you can use whatever you have watercolor would be great and just go around and once that glue's dry put it in and put it down and just kind of look what I'm doing here and it just kind of pushes it back a little bit and you like I said I'm not going to sit and do all this right now but you definitely can do this the glues are still a little wet so that'll like just tear the paper and be icky but yeah 
like I said, you could put glitter. You can go over it with markers or pens. You could do whatever you want. Gel uh, pens are great, you know, just to add a little something, something. Yeah. I get obsessed. I'm like, yeah, what am I just Get them edges in there. And if it's too dark, you know, like if you're like, oh, girl. You just go and smush it around or whatever you're using. Add a little water just to thin it out. But you can see like over here, it does. It pushes it back and, it, and it's fantastic. So that is that. So I hope you enjoyed this just real cute little uh, ATC card. Like I said, for those of you starting out, um, I have many videos on my channel about artist trading cards. I'll give you a quick brief summary real quick because I know that a lot of people already know what they are and they get bored when I explain it. But... Um, what they are are cards uh, that you, you can make or buy, and they are three and a half inches long, two and a half inches wide. And that's the standard, that is what it is, that's the rule, that's how it goes. And then you put art on top, all kinds of different art. Um, for people starting out who don't have a lot of supplies or money, I like to kind of do things to show what you could use um, around the house or that kind of thing. And like I said, I'm not selling anything. I'm not telling you what websites to go on. I just went on Google. Um, I got this a little bit too much. Uh, I went on Google and looked for free clip art, and that is what I got. So you really can, um, you know, find so many things. And I had her here, but you can definitely find, you know, on Pinterest and Google and all that kind of stuff. And put it all on, um, use um, like PicMonkey or something, a free uh photoshop kind of thing and save them to your computer and then put them all in one paper to print them out so you're saving ink you're saving paper and uh like i did and then just cut everything out and like i said you can put i mean imagine gold glitter on this and you know so there's so many different things i have a lot of videos on my channel uh with different ways and things that you can use uh like i said this is one and i'm going to keep doing more i'll do more printouts and more um, things that are easy access for people because uh, I think it's important I know a lot of you uh, don't have a lot of money or are stuck at home unfortunately and you guys want to craft and you want to art so I hope this helps you guys always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting and I love you guys so very much um, I'm so blessed and beyond blessed to have you guys you know watch my videos and comment and write me and i just i just love you guys so much so remember progress and not perfection and yeah i will see you in my next video let me know down below what you guys think of this and if you guys do something like this please tag me all my social media is down below and i will see you all later bye, -bye.